Hello and welcome back to one of our hot dogs, horseshoes and hand grenades. I'm CC Survivor and today we're going to take a look at update 111 Experimental 3 which is shotguns galore and for that I will need the ammo panel. Yep, you know what that means. New ammo. So, a new collection of shotguns. Shall we explain the ammo first? Tempt you with those. Just a little temptation, you know? Everyone loves a good bit of temptation. And we will grab... Actually, I could do with a shotgun. Let's see, can I... Actually, it's easy enough. So, all the shells have got the new textures to look very nice. And one very interesting thing is all the different the different gauges of shotgun shells so the 16 20 and 12 ha have identical shells except for the 16 and 20 are missing the swag fa and swag he because 16 gauge and 20 gauge does not need a grenade fired out of a 20 out of a 20 out of a shotgun yeah i just messed up that yeah, it doesn't... Something small does not need to shoot explosives. No matter how much we desire. So, yeah. Now. Where shall we begin? Let's begin with our twelve new 12-gauge 12 semi-automatic. The B-1301. Uh, I do need to do that. Spawn locker. Very nice. A nice, clean-looking shotgun. Now, apparently, it's got the wrong pose. Oh, looks like Anton has fixed it before he released it. He said in his devlog he hadn't got it right. So, so nice. It's a semi-automatic twelve-gauge shotgun. There's not much that can go wrong with a semi-automatic 12-gauge shotgun. Next off, I think this is also 12-gauge. Is it? Or was it the one that was chambered in? No, it's not 12-gauge. It is 20-gauge. Is this one 20-gauge as well? No, this is 16-gauge. There's too many shells. Right, so we got ourselves a new over-under shotgun, which has... Ooh, a nice, a very sexy ejector, as you can see there. Very nice. So, uh, load it. Do love over under. Uh, begin new set. Set you to weak. I feel like disintegrating a target. It's got a very. That's the wrong shells. Very nice. Sight picture. It's a very nice one. Simple, clean, and effective. I do like it a lot. Next off, a 16 gauge single shot break action. Very nice. And look at that extractor. Oh, I do like the look of the extractors moving. Don't know if you have to cock the hammer. Let me just check. Yes. So it's a single action. Because you have to manually cock the hammer. So break action and break open. Just break open, I should say. Yeah. It's a nice little shotgun. And that was the Sawn Off 16. And this was the Outback Double. I forgot his name. Oh, no. Physics! Thank you. And last but not least, something funky. Something very funky. Uh, now, apparently a bug that this has got is it currently thinks it's shouldered. Now, I don't know if Anton's fixed that, but anywho, it comes with a stock. Very nice. And this is the tu Tuliak. Tuliak. No idea if I'm pronouncing that right. 
And this is chambered in 23 by 75. Yes, this is a real gun. So, it's got a safety here. Which, in real life, you just squeeze and hold tight. In this, it's just a little chunky. So, we've got... I don't know my... Ones. My shells. So... Oh, spit out. There's so much little moving parts on this. Look, that shunts back. Oh. Very nice. That shifts. Anton has done some good work with all the things. Now, this is the Sharp 25, which is apparently... 25 is the range it's designed to engage at, and not the number of projectiles. So, this is too close. I'd have to send this out. I don't think I can send it out to 30 meters. This is closer to its more... Accurate engagement range for the Sharp 25. Oh, helps if I cock it. Oh, not cock it. Safety off. Yeah, that's quite a tight spread for 30 meters. Yeah, definitely more like its intended engagement range. Uh, we've got the Sharp 10 which is that one. So this one's in designed for 10 meters, so if I fire this now, let's just begin a new set and reset the target. Yeah, that has a lot more spread, as you can see. 30 meters, you're not engaging with this. You want the full metal. And this, I can't remember what that is. Is that going to be barricade? The barricade. I don't know all the rounds. I know CS gas and flash. But hey, a new collection of guns, a new collection of ammo. Ooh, they are very sexy. So we could get 20 gauge Dragon's Breath. I don't know why you'd want 20 gauge Dragon's Breath, but you know, eh, it's still pretty punchy. Uh, oh, Freedom Fetty. We love some good Freedom Fetty. I just wish there was a high-powered variant of Freedom Fetty. Ah. Oh, gosh, that ejection's sexy. So, yeah, I think that's everything. I'll just double-check. So, those four new guns. Check. Oh, flashlights. Flashlights. So, flashlights will apparently no longer illuminate guns and um, the muzzle flash well the muzzle smoke I should say for more people apparently it's still happening for some people uh, right uh, let's get myself an automatic BDW P90 that's got a nice amount of ammo to test test this spawn you there in you go cock him then we need attachments, lasers and lights. So we've now got the new ones are compact one and two and the scout flashlight. So this one, this one, this one. So nice little compact. Oh, wait, P90 won't work because it doesn't have a close enough thing. Uh, so I'm probably better off going with just a standard carbine. Goodbye. So we've got this flashlight, this flashlight, and this flashlight. So we've got two compacts, very nice, and we've got a new long one, which is very nice. We'll say no to more flashlights, different sizes, always a little cool. So let's see whether this self illuminates, whether it illuminates the um, muzzle flash for me. Uh, Oh, this is single, isn't it? I don't f think it illuminates for me. I know I have seen it in the past. I 
don't think it is. Uh, it was a standard light because apparently that's how Anton also tested it. I'm just I'm curious whether it's bugged for me. Uh, where are our standard lights, brain? It's actually been a while since I've uh, just put you there. Standard lights. Oh, utility. The flashlight. Excellent. So let's just do it over here. Yeah, we're illuminating the. Uh, I know. Are we? Let's have a look. Yeah. That's apparently not meant to get illuminated, according to Anton. If I try one of these again. I can't tell if I pull that back. Maybe it's not illuminated anymore. Maybe it's just a standalone. Or I'm not sure. I'm sure Anton will eventually figure out. He was apparently really annoyed and really confused and really perplexed by it. But anywho, uh, what else has been added? And all the 12 gauge shorts. Da, 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 da. Ah, yes. Wait. Yep. Uh, let's see. Scene. Back to the main menu. We have an update on the Institute. Preview. Well, Institution, I should say, not Institute. Institution. So, if we have, uh, I'm going to get myself a little bit of a friend, so we'll have a nice, no, a nice automatic rifle, I think, what am I feeling, a nice scar, a nice drum mag, just to make sure that I don't run out of ammo whilst I'm doing this. Excellent, and we want an attachment actually. We want uh, a little bit of explosive. Uh, we want that one. Nice. So I think this will be powerful enough to do what I'm going to try. So we need to go have a look for something. Ah, here they are. Some new destructibles. So we've got sausage statues made out of brutalist concrete. And he looks like he's holding a sword and shield. There should be a bench. And then there's a bunch of different of these holding different items. So, I don't know if Anton's fixed this. Looks like he hasn't fixed it yet. Oh wait, maybe. That did break bullets. So yeah, the destructible as well. And explosives will uh, punch things out a little bit better, as you can see. And if we try our big guy, we might actually need a more powerful explosive. I might need an RPG to knock him out. Yeah. Let's go get ourselves an RPG. Anton did show it off with an RPG. I wasn't sure whether the 40 mil would dislodge it. Clearly it doesn't. It's good to know. Uh, let's see. What have I got into grenade launchers? I wanted... Some missiles. You know what? Keep it nice and simple. Let's have something disposable. Uh, right. That. No, what? No. There. That was it. I always forget every time I use it. So, let's see. What am I forgetting on here? Oh. Pull that forward, the safety. There we go. Oh, I chunked myself. I don't think the bottom's foot destructible, or it might be incredibly durable. Yeah. And these bits are all physics props, which is always fun. You can all be pushed about. Yeek. And it's actually all sandable on. Uh, let's get over here. We can jump on here. We can jump. I think we can get on the top here as well. But yeah. Is that got a yes, it has got a collision box. I was just testing. Just wanted to test. I was actually really curious though. But I think 
that is everything. Uh, I'm able to cause some good destruction. One less one. Oh, gosh. Destructible terrain is always fun. Well, it's not terrain. It's destructible props in this case. Oh, can I get a two for one whilst I finish? So, I'm going to double check. I forget that you can fit in such small things. That's all the new additions, replaces, we got all the places, and a bunch of fix. Apparently SVT-40 was missing its uh, bolt. Anton removed it whilst... Whilst editing the model, he m m removed the bolt, so he can twiddle at stuff, and then forgot to re-add it. So, you know, fun times. But, uh, not that one, this one. We'll have one little shot there, see if that's enough to might have damaged the other one, but it's not. Oh well. <sighs> Good bit of stuff Anywho, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did so, hit that like button. Got any comments, questions, drop them down in the comment section below. I'll answer if possible. New channel, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date. Don't forget, you can follow me on Twitter and support me on Patreon. Links for those are down in the description. Stay well. Oh. And Survivor out. Are you really that tough? Huh. The other one broke a lot quicker. I thought I'd be able to just quickly smash that. There we go. Hmm. It must have a really high thing. And it's apparently still tweaking them. So stay well and survivor out. Solidarity forever.